guys. I'm Kyle Ackerman, and you might know me as the founder of FixMyFurnace.com. I'm also the CEO of High Point Consultants, and I've worked with many, many businesses uh, and coming up with sales solutions uh, for their specific needs. And today I wanted to share a little bit of information uh, with you, and specifically, uh, how to deal with an irate customer, and not only that, turn that into a sale. You'd be thinking, is this guy nuts? How the hell is he going to do that? Stick around, and I'll show you. We've all been there and uh, before. And you meet with a client, uh, or you work in their home, uh, and they are just having a bad day. Uh, and they're blaming it on you or your product or your service. Um, guess who gets to be the receptor of all that bad juju? That's right, you do. Uh, aren't you lucky? <laughs> so how do you approach this situation? Uh, there are really is uh, a, uh, a method to the madness, per se, uh, in how to deal with this situation. yourself. Uh, uh, this is a very important step that a lot of salesmen uh, and a lot of people in the service industry in general, uh, they really forget to do this step and it really is a crucial step. Um, you know, the, so the, I mean the first thing that you're going to need to do uh, with preparing yourself uh, is understand the situation. Really look into it. Look into the client. Look into their history. Look into some their past. What other issues have they had? Have they had problems with your product or service before? Uh, have they had run-ins with your company that weren't on a good note? Uh, you know, figure out really what's going on with this customer so that you can get a more well-rounded understanding of their situation. Is maybe there was something that's uh, led up to them being so irate. Uh, or maybe this is the, a first-time uh, user of your service or your company or your product. Um, but either way, you want to know this information going into uh, a situation with a customer that could be irate. Um, and, and you want to look for any red flags. Uh, you know, next and the most important situation or important step, I should say, uh, in the preparation uh, st stage is... Um, putting yourself in their shoes. Uh, so by putting yourself in their shoes, you're able to really grasp a better understanding of the customer's feelings. You know, how would you feel if you were the one going through this problem? If you were the one that used this product or you used this service and uh, it turned out that you, you know, had some kind of issue and it caused you trouble, you know, what would you be missing out on? You know, what would you, you know, be doing otherwise? Or, you know, what did it cause you to have a cold shower? Or uh, maybe you had no heat or air conditioning or, you know, no power, you know, whatever the case may be, you know, no TV, uh, your computer, a million different scenarios. But this step allows you to really understand the inner feelings of that customer. And being able to do that is really clutch. Um, you know, so it, which leads me to my next uh, step in this in the situation with these dealing with the customers that are irate. Um, you want to make sure that you don't take it personally. Um, you know, keep in mind the client's not really frustrated with you. Uh, in most cases, I, I hope not. Anyway, um, you're just the one that's there. You know, you're representing that company or that product or that service, um, and you're just, you're the one that's there, and they want to place that blame on someone, and, well, it's going to be you because you're there. Um, the next step uh, that you really want to take advantage of here, and this is all building up, it, it, just wait till we get through this. Um, but the next step uh, is to be a sponge. You want to absorb all that frustration, all that anxiety, 
all that pent up anger that they've been feeling. Uh, you want to just take all of that in, soak it all in. Uh, and you can do that because you're prepared. You prepared for this. You've already put yourself in their shoes. You've already known that this is coming. You understand that it's not you uh, that they're angry with. It's this product or service, and they're only taking it out on you because you're the person that's there. So don't take it personally. Uh, you know, they, they might have, chances are, they've probably been anxiously waiting <laughs> for you to, uh, to arrive. They've maybe even rehearsed this in their head or out loud and shouting and stomping around the house. Um, you know, depending on their, their personality. Um, but you need to let that customer, that client, get this out of their system so that you can start the healing process with them. And once you can get to that point, that's the hardest part. It, it, it's over. And it really is simple. Uh, if you think about it, you've, what have you really done? Yeah, up to this point, uh, outside of the preparations, all you've done is walked up to the client, introduced yourself, and let it fly. That's all you've done. And you're doing great. So what's next? The next step in the process of dealing with an irate customer is to express empathy. Okay, so what do I mean by empathy? You want to let the client know that you heard them. You know, you want to apologize on behalf of the company, um, but take that blame upon yourself. Put it on your shoulders. Make sure that they know you're taking all of this blame. Uh, this alone will many times allow a client to admit that, admit out loud to you that they realize it's not your fault personally, and a lot of times you'll even get an apology uh, depending on how irate they were uh, and maybe what harsh tone, uh, tonality, uh, or words they may have chosen uh, at the time um, because you were that sponge. You let them get that out. Uh, you know, you've, you've allowed them to start the healing process, and, and like I said, a lot of times that leads to an apology. If you just keep your mouth shut during that period and let them get it out. Don't ever interrupt them. Let them get that out. You want to get to the empathy point. Um, you know, this is your opportunity now uh, to just begin that healing process even further. Uh, and, you know, they generally, they're, they're really upset it happened. Uh, but then they go on to say something to the effect of, you know, they are, what they're missing as a result of, uh, of this circumstance or this issue that your product or service caused. Uh, and, you know, nine times out of ten, it's what? It's work. They're missing out on work. You're at work. They're missing out on work. And, it, and it's really great because if they bring up work, um, that gives you an opportunity uh, to, you know, realize that you're just a guy doing your job. You're at work, too. Uh, and I also would take that opportunity to ask them about their job, ask them about their work. What type of work do they do? You know, this is going to take their mind off of the fact that they were even pissed off in the first place. Now they're just two people having a conversation, they're talking, and a lot of times people like to discuss what they do uh, with their job or with their work, especially if they enjoy their job. Uh, and I hope you do. I know I do. Um, the next step is to ask questions. Now, when you're asking questions, you want to ask the right questions. This is very important. Uh, you know, you want to ask the questions. You want to let the client explain the circumstances that led up to this issue or this failure, whatever it was. Uh, you want to get background information, as much information as you can to better understand um, how and why that this has happened. Um, you know, ask them about any other issues that they may have had. Uh, they might have had something re recently that can relate to the issue 
Or maybe in the back of your head, you're thinking this might have actually not been my product or service's fault. Uh, so keep that in the back of your mind as well. Uh, that does happen all too often. Uh, if I had a penny, I'd be a trillionaire uh, for every time that that circumstance uh, came up. Um, but when, they're, when you're going through these questions and you're asking questions uh, about the scenario, about what happened, all these things, you want to make sure and have a pad and a pen out and you want to be writing this information down. So what is the importance of writing it down? Well, number one, you're not going to forget it if you wrote it down, right? Uh, and number two, it lets the client know that you are actively listening. Uh, you know, many people talk and they just, it's in one ear, out the other. And I, a lot of people expect that, especially if they're, you know, whining about something or, you know, they're being irate. Um, so just you, the just a small little gesture of writing these things down uh, is, is really impactful uh, in dealing with clients. Uh, uh, this will also help you later on to make a sale. Stick around and I'll show you how. Um, but let's not get ahead of ourselves here. So let's go on to the next step. So what's the next step? Evaluate. You want to evaluate the situation. So by evaluating the situation, uh, this is able to do several different things uh, from eliminate possibilities and causes of, uh, of other issues. Uh, it might even uh, eliminate your product as being as fault at, at fault uh, or your service at all. Uh, so really take your time during evaluation step. You know, you need to let them know you're here to help and show them that you're willing to go above and beyond to ensure that that problem is solved and that they will not have to deal with that again. Uh, this is really big, guys. Uh, I mean, it's, it's so important uh, to, to really stress that and send that home to the customer because you're in the heat of the moment now. That frustration, that pain, that anger, whatever it was that, that they were feeling, that anxiety, it's still fresh in their mind right now. So, you know, a couple of weeks down the road, they're going to be like, oh, it really wasn't that big of a deal, like blah, blah, blah. They forget how mad they were and uh, the screaming that they might have done. And, you know, I'm sure you might remember if you were the lucky recipient of that uh, <laughs> great information. Um, but... Uh, nonetheless, you want to be able to, to do that um, and go above and beyond uh, in the future. You know, if they stick with you, let them know uh, they want to take this opportunity and really dig into to what that is and, and get those solutions for them and let them know that you appreciate the time uh, that they are giving you uh, today to correct this problem and come up with some solutions for them. Um, so during this process, uh, you also want to write down, um, you know, any kind of issues that you see. Look, broad spectrum, way beyond anything uh, that is just based on that product uh, or that service or whatever it is. You want to make sure that you're looking way beyond that. So really broaden your scope. Look around, uh, see if there's other weaknesses, uh, see if there's other possibilities uh, that could cause a similar outcome to this uh, if they weren't addressed or maybe if they didn't have an, a certain other product uh, in there uh, to give them that extra layer of, of protection and security uh, to know that they're not going to have to deal with these problems again. Um, you know, this will arm you with all the pertinent information you need to move on and offer that client solutions. So the next step that uh, we're going to look at here as we're getting to the end uh, is you want to, at this stage, you want to offer solutions. So you've already talked to the client. You've let them get everything off their chest. Uh, you've uh, wrote down uh, some questions uh, that, and answers that that client has given you. You've evaluated the system. You've looked at all the possibilities of what could have caused this problem. 
uh, and maybe what can lead to others, or maybe that client has expressed some other uh, interest in, in other areas or other problems that they had during the evaluation product, uh, process that you've asked that client, uh, you know, they might have made a statement uh, about something else. And chances are they did. Uh, if you did your evaluation right and you asked the right questions. Um, so you notice I said solutions, plural, not a single solution. You never want to offer just one solution in any kind of service or sales format, never. Always multiples, 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 multiples. Um, so this is a key factor in developing these options for clients uh, and an opportunity for you to get that upsell. Uh, so you wanna sit down with the client at this point, uh, if they're comfortable with that, you wanna go over your findings, you wanna address the issue that you were called out for. Make sure that you do address that. Make sure that they know that that issue is going to be taken care of, uh, first and foremost. Uh, because this may, may, may be your product or service. It may not be. If that is the case and it wasn't even related directly to your product or service, oh, you just hit the jackpot, my friend. Because now that client is really feeling guilty about how they treated you when they walked in the door if they weren't already, they really are now. And you are armed to the teeth, my friend. Um, so uh, with that in mind, uh, you let that client know you're going to take care of that situation for them regardless of the circumstances. So no matter if it was your product's ref uh, uh, fault directly or indirectly, this is where your good customer service comes in. This is where you're creating that long lasting relationship. So even if you or your, your company wasn't at fault, you need to make sure you let them know we're gonna take care of that for you. Now, of course, you wanna already clear that with your management or upper, upper management or staff uh, to uh, be sure that this is there. And that goes back to your preparation stage. So when you're prepping, you know, you wanna make sure and, and discuss these things with your, your client, what service, what, what kind of offerings uh, can I give uh, to a client uh, just as a, an extra bonus to them kind of thing. Uh, so you wanna make sure and offer that client um, everything that your company can for the least amount of money. Uh, again, maybe your company is able to file a product warranty claim on that specific part. Uh, and if that's the case, boy, that's really not costing you a penny. Uh, and that's brilliant because you really get to look like the good guy then. Uh, and the client doesn't need to know that, doesn't need to know that at all. Uh, uh, quite the contrary, you know, you need to make sure and, and drive home that um, your company is going to bite this for them. You know, we're going to take that bullet for you uh, because that's what we do here. You know, that's what we're all about. We're all about making it right and making you happy. Uh, and Speaking of that, making them happy, this is where you roll into other options. And you say, you know, I, I, this may be a, an extra layer of protection uh, that you could sell to the customer, uh, a product that can give them that extra peace of mind to ensure that something like this doesn't happen again. Uh, it could be the other product that failed uh, that was not in relation to the product or service that you provided, you want to make sure and be able to provide that solution for them as well. Uh, be there to make that extra sale. If you don't put it out there and give that customer the option for that solution, um, you're never going to get that sale, obviously. You have to say something. You got to open up your mouth. You got to put it out there. And you'd be surprised, I think, pleasantly, with how many customers are willing to open up their wallets if you're offering them. Uh, a, a discounted rate on something, uh, you know, for a courtesy. I would, you know, the way I would put it is, you know, when, when you're doing something that the client mentioned as a pre-existing problem, uh, when asking questions and you gained your intel uh, and your company happens to be able to provide that product or service uh, and at a discounted rate as a courtesy today only due to the circumstances of today's visit. So, what does that do? Uh, this is going to bring us up to the final step here. Uh, this is about bringing it all together 
everything you've done, all the work you've put in, all the conversations that you've had with this customer, all the pain and anxiety that you've soaked in, bring it all together and you close that sale. You close the door on that and you walk away with a sale. How do we do this? So, this is where we go over the entire visit. We go back to your notes that you jotted down. You quote their exact responses to the questions and relay those into the solutions for that client. So you express your concerns uh, if these solutions are not met with urgency. It's all about urgency. You always have to drive it home. It's so important that we get this done today because if we don't, I'm going to be back out here. You're going to be yelling at me again. I'm going to be scared for my life. I'm just kidding, obviously. Um, but the things like that, it's always good to crack a joke if you can uh, in these kind of scenarios. Just lighten the mood. If you can get a client that's irate, laughing, you're worth your weight in gold, buddy, I'm telling you. So always have some kind of a fresh joke, but make sure it's appropriate and make sure it's time appropriate too. Uh, trying to crack a joke while a customer's red-faced, uh, purple, and screaming at you. Probably not the best time. Um, anyway, back to bringing it all together and closing. Uh, so you want to make sure and express your concerns. Uh, and you want to make sure that you offer terms of the solution as authorized for today only. As a courtesy for the client's troubles. So your your shows that you have great customer service, but not only that, um, you know it shows that you're offering them a special offer only for them and only for today, right now, as a thank you for allowing you to come into their home and solve this problem for them, for allowing you to continue doing business with that customer. You know, you tell them my manager is. A, you know, pre-authorize this or, you know, I am authorized on behalf of my management to offer this solution for you today. Uh, unfortunately, it's today only. Uh, so that right there eliminates the, let me think about it. It's the, I'll have to talk to my wife or I'll have to talk to my husband or, you know, can I call you back tomorrow when I have a little more time? It's just, I wish I had more time. That's another big excuse. I got to get going. Um, it eliminates all of that because you already told them it's today only. It's right here, right now, and that's it. So you take it or leave it kind of deal. And so what does this do? This is putting us in this customer's head. You're creating urgency and you're creating uh, a scenario where the customer is not spending money, what are they doing? They're giving them an opportunity to, to save money. And that's how they're going to look at it. Psychologically, they're looking at it as um, one of those items at the checkout line. It's a spur of the moment purchase. It's right there. There's that candy bar. There's that energy drink right there. It's just waiting to be swooped up. And you know you don't need it, and if you did your job, that customer might actually think they do need it, and they might need it. Uh, so it's even better than a Red Bull or a, a Snickers bar uh, or some magazine. This is something that you're offering them uh, that's going to be able to give them peace of mind, uh, and you're going to know that it's backed by the quality customer service of your company that you've shown by your visit up to this point. Uh, so uh, when they get to that, and they, uh, it might even be a, a, something that they wanted anyway. Uh, you could have had, during your questions, found out that that customer wanted uh, a humidifier or they wanted new windows or they needed a new roof or whatever the case may be anyway. So being able to package those things together for them uh, and, and offer them this one-time only deal um, as a courtesy just because of the issue that they had today only uh, is really going to be your the shining star that's going to put you over the top and get you that sale. So you follow those these simple steps uh, that I've outlined for you here. I guarantee you 
that you will be able to win over any irate customer and turn that frown upside down and into a sale. Uh, if, if you guys uh, have any other questions uh, or have any comments, let me know. Uh, again, I'm Kyle Ackerman, your friendly sales solution expert. And feel free to comment below. And thank you guys for watching. And you have a great day.